Lantern flies are back and they are destroying trees and crops in our area. Yeah, well, now vacuum cleaners are being used to fight against a harmful, messy me uh, menace. James Ford is live in Yonkers to explain. Hi, James. Yeah, you got dust bunnies on hardwood floors, maybe pet hair on sofas. That's typically what vacuums are used for. But what about this? Yeah, vacuuming up in branches. Here's more to explain. Vacuuming trees, yes, to help save them. Look closely and you'll see what arborists, plant experts, call an environmental menace. They camouflage well, but there you see them. Spotted lanternflies, hundreds of them on this tree alone. And there's this, that dripping you see is called honeydew, a sugar water the lanternflies excrete as a byproduct of the sap they suck out of trees and other woody plants. The honeydew coats leaves, promoting a dark tree and vine killing mold. The real threat is going to be to uh, agricultural crops, grapes and apple orchards. Taro Iataka talks about some of the crops the invasive infesting bugs can damage, as well as the trees in your neighborhood, yard or local park like this one. That's why the Westchester County Parks Conservation Supervisor is deploying a new weapon in the fight against lanternflies. You're not imagining things. That's a vacuum cleaner. It comes with straps to be worn like a backpack to suck up, swirl, and in the process, kill the invasive insect species. Each female we kill is 50 fewer the next year. So you're potentially watching hundreds of new lantern flies not having a chance to be born and cause more damage. Westchester County bought a handful of the backpack vax for about five to six hundred dollars each. A lot of these lantern flies we recorded here in New York City. So will the Parks Department here follow Westchester's example? Regarding its protocols for killing the bugs, the New York City's Parks Department told us to contact the State Department of Agriculture and Markets, which sets policy. That name sounds familiar. We work closely with New York State, uh, Ag and Markets, DEC, and the Partnership for Regional Invasive Species Management. He said they recommend this. So that we can just vacuum up dozens at a time. And back here live, what happens after the vacuuming? You're looking at it right now. Those bugs get put into an airtight bag and then actually sanitizer is put in there. The alcohol from the sanitizer, yeah, ensures that they don't bother anyone anymore. That's the protocol reporting live from Yonkers in Westchester County. I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.